Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna explain how the YouTuber hit the quan made 100K in one hour with his clothing brand. I'm also gonna explain how you guys can also make that much money with your clothing brand if you do everything that I tell you to do. Let me just preface and say that he never said that he made 100K with his brand. So I don't know and we won't know for sure, but I'm a professional pocket watcher and I did the math and he probably made minimum 100K for his first drop. If you guys don't know, he recently launched a new brand called Yell Yard, which is just another streetwear brand. He also has another brand called Cozy, but I don't know what he's doing with that. So when Quan announced that he was gonna launch a new brand, I clicked on the profile of the brand, which is Yell Yard, and I checked the Instagram and it already had 27,000 followers. I don't know if I was tripping or what, but I guess that's the power of influencers. Eh? But the reason why I say he made a minimum of $100,000 for his first drop is because each of his shirts were 60 bucks and he had six different shirts so considering that he had around 300 pieces per shirt that's already 100k and i know this because i checked the website and everything was sold out I was gonna count how many notifications he got in that clip, but come on guys, bro. I got a clothing brand, I got my academy, I got mentorship, I got a YouTube channel, like I ain't doing all that shit, bro. But now I'm gonna explain the easiest method to make bank like Quan did in one hour. The first thing that you have to do is to be an influencer. Quan has millions of followers across all platforms and he's been an influencer for a long ass time. If you think about fashion, most people think about him and I'm not even trying to glaze. I'm just saying like if people think about fashion, most people think about Quan. I'm not glazing. <laughs> the reason why this is so crucial is because if you become an influencer and you have a following, you could literally sell anything. Like if you look at his brand and you look at the price, design, quality, it's not bad, but he's literally charging 60 bucks for a shirt. <laughs> now, if your local Joe Schmo were to charge 60 bucks for his shirt, he's gonna get beat slapped on the face. Because who are you to charge 60 bucks for a shirt? You're nobody, nobody cares. Who are you, bro? Why are you charging 60 bucks for a shirt? You're not Hellstar, bro. But the only reason why Quan is able to do that is because he's an influencer. So building a brand within yourself and then starting a clothing brand isn't really a bad idea. A better idea, however, is to build a brand within yourself while building your clothing brand so you get best of both worlds bro so if i were to go back this is what i probably would have done the only reason why i didn't do that was because i didn't want anybody knowing about my brand because i wanted to show everybody once i became successful so so i personally don't recommend people to go through my route which is not telling anybody about your business but i feel like it's kind of cool like you know you work in silence you just shut up for three months and you pop out and now you have a successful clothing brand and nobody knew about it because you never told anybody the only problem is that the only way that you can actually do that is if you join my academy and <laughs> i mean you got to look at it like this like if you're literally starting from zero and not telling anybody you can't even get support from your friends you can't get followers from your friends you're literally starting from zero so all i'm saying is that if you join my academy bro like even if you start by yourself and you don't tell anybody you can get there very quickly if you want to join great if you don't want to join great i mean I, I don't care but the point i'm trying to make is if you start a brand or a business from scratch and you're not telling anybody about it and you're just doing it by yourself it's very difficult especially if you don't join my academy okay i'll stop now but if you guys do decide which path you want to take it's completely up to you but i personally recommend you develop yourself so you can be a walking ambassador for your brand but the only way this will work is if you have some sort of trait that is unique like you gotta be funny fit good looking you gotta put that shit on like something bro like you can't just be a regular joe schmo and think you won't be an influencer bro like ain't that that's not happening so if you do decide to intertwine your personal brand and your clothing brand this can be a blessing or a curse because like if you a fat piece of shit and you just have a bad image like ain't nobody buying from your brand bro like for example if a customer goes inside a gym and the owner is like he's a fat ass and he looks like patrick like ain't nobody going to that gym bro you know what i'm trying to say it's just like it doesn't work so i personally do suggest you work on yourself in terms of your looks social skills how you talk how you act because i mean it's, it's going to be useful in life in general but it will translate into your business but that is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys do want to join the academy i will add a 10 percent discount code in the description for the basic members and a 20 percent discount code for the vip vip is basically a mentorship program so i just tell you what to do every single week but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one